one day I was just over it. I was just like, I don't even like this type of stuff. This is not even me for real. I'm here today to finally introduce you guys to myself, to tell you about my journey, and to show you my very own makeup technique that I do on myself. So, if you want to learn more about me, my journey as an MUA and as a makeup boss, keep watching. Oh, oh, oh. How could I forget? Subscribe. I'm not moving on to you, subscribe. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna pin all the curls up to get the hair on my face and we're gonna get right started. Alright, so I'm back. So, first things first, before we can really get into makeup. Skin prep is important. We're not skipping around that, okay? And what I need you guys to understand is that you have to take care of your skin. That's more important than the makeup itself. But basically, I'm just using a toner. I'm just using this to make sure I get rid of any oils, and the dirt that's on my face because I really want like a clean canvas. Alright, so now I'm gonna go in with some eye cream. This Ola Hendrickson. I'm gonna just dub it right here on my eyes like this. Yeah. And guys, I really enjoy the skincare part of makeup. And I'm just using this jade roll up. I'm all about self care. If I had it my way, I would go to the spa every day. So I just make sure I work this little eye cream on my eyes very well. If you can apply it on the eye concealer, it's gonna help the makeup to not crease and it's also gonna help to make it smooth and not cakey. So now I have that. I'm just gonna go in with some serum. And guys, don't feel like intimidated by all the skincare products I'm using. Literally, there's like the pharmacy and find like cheap alternatives but I just want to encourage you to actually make an effort to see a dermatologist or like a aesthetician to really understand what products it is that you need to be using on your face but basically this is just some serum vitamin C that's good for my skin helps keep my skin plumped and I love that for me and I'm just going in with some Neutrogena Hydro Boost this is like a water-based moisturizer all right so next I'm gonna go in with some oil yeah this one's called Juno I got it from Sephora. So I just get it like under my eyes really. I like to bake, so I need it there. Next, yes, I know, this is a lot of products. That's okay. So this one is called the Glow Recipe. It's like a serum primer, it's multi-use, but I like to use it as a primer because it gives my skin this beautiful glow. That was skin prep. Let's go on to foundation. I'm not even gonna hold you. I use tinted foundation from LA Girls. Yes, I do, and I love it. It's very lightweight, and I love that for me because I don't want my face to come out looking cakey. If I have any acne scars or anything to cover, I would just go in with concealer and cover them instead of like applying like a really thick layer of foundation. You start going with this. All right. So now I'm gonna add the foundation on this little palette and I'm just gonna get some on my brush. I like to warm it up a bit so it glides on nicer. So I'm just gonna go in and gently pat like this. Do y'all see what's happening? Do you all see how light this is? So we did one side. Y'all see this side versus this side. Y'all see what's happening here? Yeah, it still looks like my skin, it just looks clean up like a filter is on it yeah that's the look i'm going for i told you i was going to tell you a bit about myself oh this brush is super cheap i got it from sheen it probably cost me a dollar or two so i'm gonna put y'all on i'm gonna, I'm gonna tag all the brushes below so you don't have to worry so i found this foundation so i'm using two concealers here born this way and milani so first i'm just gonna take the born this way i'm just gonna about to tear i don't want too much okay and placement is key so i'm just creating like a little triangle under my eyes with this one this is the darker of the two so i'm just dot some here as well and i'm gonna dot some down my nose like this dot some on the forehead like this guys we don't need too much okay the more you put the harder it's gonna be to blend so if you're a beginner I really just rather you start out with less than more, okay? Well, so now I'm gonna blend it out with my Real Techniques brush. Ooh, I have like a million of them because I'm obsessed. So how you do this is you wanna just pat. And you wanna start patting where the line ends. So for example, I would start here where the concealer ends, you understand? So I'm just gonna pat the edges first. And then when you've done that, you can just go in the center and just really ensure that it's really blended out nicely, okay? Cool. Now I'm just gonna go on the forehead and I'm just gonna pat. And I told you, we're just gonna pat around it. Yes. And when you're done patting around it, then you can go in the center and just do a little pat, 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 pat thing like this, okay? Now that you have that, I'm gonna go on the nose. I'm gonna just pat, 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 pat. Now I'm gonna blend my under eye region. I'm just gonna start at the edge again. Then I'm gonna bring it up on the eye bit. And what's important here is to choose a color that's literally like two shades lighter than your skin tone. Please do not go too light with this. You can make funny faces if you want, if it helps. I'm gonna just blend the whole under eye area. And I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't start out by putting the concealer all the way up here. 
I kind of blended it up. And what that is going to do, it's going to prevent under eye from being cakey. And ever since I was a young girl, my mom would always buy me like Dolly, mannequin head. Like one of my friends used to go out as a teenager. They would come to my house and then I would like try to help them to get ready. So I would like help them to do their hair and their makeup. And it was just something I really enjoyed. Like I actually really enjoyed the getting ready parts of going out more than actually going out. What? And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's like that. So yeah, that was where that interest came from. Okay, so the next step, I am going to do, oh yes, I'm gonna go in with contour, honey, contour. Yes, this is a new product I have coming out for Care Beauty on shopcare.com. Here it is. So basically, I'm just gonna try the color to see what it's looking like on my face. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. That's what it looks like when I apply. Y'all see that? This is perfect for me because it's showing but it's not looking too harsh, it's not looking too dark for me. And I'm loving that soft look nowadays. So basically, how you do this is, you want to apply the contour stick on your cheekbone. You should be able to go start here, like this part where you do this. You should be able to do this and feel the bone. And where the bone is, that is where you should be putting your contour, not below. I'm just gonna take it like this. I'm gonna make like a C, so I'm gonna do like, like C. I don't want to bring it too much on my cheek. You should be able to smile and then the apple of your cheek should not have any contour on it, okay? This area is for blush, not for contours. So I'm just gonna go from the temple up here, and create like a C, and bring it, oh my God, these sticks are so creamy. They glide on so nice and they're so easy to blend. But you're gonna see, I don't have to tell you, you're just gonna see what's happening right in front of your eyes. I'm just gonna splash my chin a bit and bring it down the sides of my nose like this a bit. And I might bring this onto my eyes like this. This brush is from Sheen. It costs like $2. So now I'm just gonna go to the edges and I'm just gonna flick. See? Pat and flick away, away from the face. I like this. But basically what happened was, when I was in high school, one day I was just over it. I was just like, I don't even like this type of stuff. Like, this is not even me for real. Like, I was hiding for years the fact that I just wanted to be like a salon owner for real. And just like do hair and like, do beauty services or like hire people to do them that's really what i wanted to do but i'm gonna be rude you like you know as a jamaican just like as an african you tell your parents that you want to just like own a salon or like be a beauty service provider and they're like what's wrong with you like that's not gonna happen you have to be a doctor or lawyer you've heard that story a million times so, you know i didn't tell anyone i didn't even tell my friends really <laughs> I'm not sure if they would have understood either because they were all like in school, like they wanted to become doctors and lawyers and me, I just over here just want to be a salon owner. <laughs> but I always like the way I feel when I'm in a salon. I always enjoy the salon experience. So I literally just flipped and blended. And when you get to the edges, you just go like this, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth gently. You see, and because I prep my skin so well, it's making the makeup so easy to blend. It's gonna be so easy for you when you do it. What's key is to make sure that the color is not too dark. Because if it's too dark, it's not gonna blend so easily. I'm just flicking back and forth to ensure that the highlight color is blending back with the foundation up here. We have the chin, we have the cheeks, everything's looking good, yeah? Now we're gonna go down the nose like this. And I'm just, I'm just doing this. Side of the nose bridge. Yeah, so. I didn't really tell anybody that I really wanted to pursue beauty. I knew it deep down that that's what I wanted to do. Honestly, I just, I just, I just knew that that was me, <laughs> right? So one day I was just like, you know what? Forget this. I'm just gonna stop going to school, but I'm gonna study for the exams on my own. I'm just gonna go to beauty school, but I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna get the money to go because I don't work and have any money. So basically, I like lied. I lied to my father, I told him I need the money for like driving school or something ridiculous because in Jamaica at the time, fortunately, driving school wasn't that expensive and beauty school wasn't that expensive so the lie could have worked. And basically I just stopped going to school and I started going to um, cosmetology school. I wanted to go to a program that had like all the services, hair, makeup, nails, everything but because like it was a last minute thought, the only course that I had available at the time was hairdressing so I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'ma do it, I'ma do it, I'ma do it. Do it, guys. Contour habit is done. It's giving skin, it's giving not too much. But now I'm gonna do a bit more. So now I'm gonna go in with this Milan concealer. I'm just gonna literally, guys, for the heavy handed people, one, one tiny drag. You see that? I'm just gonna go in with the same brush that I used to blend out my concealer. I'm just gonna go pat, pat, pat. So I'm just pointing it directly. Pat, pat, pat. It's up like this. Look at that. But I was going to beauty school in Jamaica and the way I had to do it 
I would have to wear uniforms, so I'd wear the uniform to school when my parents left for work before me. So they didn't notice what was happening. And then when I would leave, I would switch out of the uniform back into like something else. <laughs> So that they didn't know and I, I also like didn't want people to know as well because I feared that people are going to judge me for going to beauty school because I told you in Jamaica at the time they didn't like that idea like they always had something negative to say and you know how ignorant people can get sometimes I even had one guy who was talking to cut me off and I told him I was going to beauty school he cut me off and then the people were spending rumors that I was pregnant what and had to and dropped out of school so I had to go to cut since I was in school uh -huh. it was hard it did, it did kind of I break my self esteem a little bit because I didn't like at the time when people say negative things about me, you know. Anyways, guys, so that's blended. Oh, I'm loving this. But guess what I'm gonna do to clean up my contour? Yeah, I'm just gonna take some more of that tinted foundation from LA Girls. But this time I put on a little sponge like this, and I'm gonna do this and just clean up that line real nice. Gentle pats, guys. Be gentle with your sponge and make sure that it's damp. Now we have that. I'm gonna go in with listen to me you see care beauty in 2023 we're not coming to play this is our new up and coming liquid blush and now we have that i'm just gonna use one of these big fluffy brushes i'm just gonna pat like this y'all see y'all see this beauty i really really love blush now i'm just gonna take some powder this is la mercier you get a lot on the brush and just pat it on the eyes and guess what i use the same exact brush that i used for the concealer to apply the powder so you don't have to be using a million and one brushes okay i was going to like cosmetology school learning hair literally have a certification in hairdressing yeah and then one day my friend came to my house and we were bored she's like girl i'm bored i was like girl what do you want me to do there's a power outage she's like i don't know so i'm like hmm, actually i can do your hair but then i remember i can't plug in any outlets because i don't probably want to flat iron her hair like curly or something and then i was just like my sister has all that makeup right there sitting down can i do your makeup and then she's like sure and i was like oh my god yeah so then i literally was just doing her makeup we're just chatting and laughing like having a good old time and then by the time i was done and she looked at it she was like oh my god like it actually looks good and, and like we were really laughing about it because like when i tell you i did not know what i was doing i did not know what i was doing like i was really just messing around on this girl's face because like I was upset that I was only a hairdressing course and what I really wanted to do was a whole cosmetology course. I really wanted to learn makeup as well, you know? Just me doing her makeup alone, she was like, oh my God, if I do that photo shoot, like, can you do my makeup just like this? And I'm just like, sure. And she's like, girl, oh please, it's not gonna come out like this because you don't even know what you did to, to achieve this look like. It's just buck ups, like buck ups in Jamaica mean like it just happened by chance. So then she's like, let me call my photographer friend to come. See if he can come and take the pictures today while I still while I have the makeup on. That's really what she was on. So I was like, okay, girl. So then no, she calls the freaking guy. And then the guy's like, yeah, I'm actually in that neighborhood right now. What? Listen, you have to understand that this is God. Because if you know where I live in Jamaica, I live far from everything. There's never a chance that anybody's close by in my neighborhood. It never happens. Like I was never able to like carpool with friends or have friends pick me up. Never. I would have to drive or my parents would have to bring me because that's how far we live. The guy was in the neighborhood at the time. <laughs> that was just way too weird, right? So he was in the community and guess what? He had his camera. So she was just like, oh my God, really? Can you come now and take some pictures of me? She's beautiful. Of course, he's gonna come and take the pictures. So he was just like, yeah, sure, I'll come. Listen, I kid you not. Five minutes later, the man was literally at my house. We were like so excited. I was like, there's no freaking way. Yeah, so guys, I just set my T-zone. Now I'm just getting some under my cheekbones like this with like a fluffy brush yeah so the guy showed up we run downstairs we're so excited because it's like oh our day was so boring and it went from being so boring to like now we're like messing around when we have a photo shoot he saw her and he was just like yo who did you make up she was like laughing she's like kristen did it that's my name yeah my name is kristen so he was just like really and so she's like yeah he's like yo makeup look really good enough like this is raw talent like yo kristen you should really like do this for real anyways i was really paying him no mind because of course i didn't have that confidence you know i was just like yeah yeah whatever guys did y'all see that i didn't still tell you what the hell was going on but basically i went in with this little cheap little brush from sheen and i went in with the kale artist essential powder palettes every girl every mua everybody that loved makeup need this <laughs> Use it to contour, use it for eyeshadow, use it to warm up a color, 
use it to tone down a color maybe you need the palette because it's always sold out it's literally a bestseller so now i have that i'm just gonna go in with this brush from shopcare.com it's like an eyeshadow blending brush oh yeah i didn't tell you guys something very important when you set in your face you have to pat it dry you have to set it properly it's a little bit of a loose spot on your brush and you just pat the bridge of the nose right and the reason why you have to do that is because we're going to go in with powder contour and we're going to go like this back and forth with the brush and if you do back and forth with the brush on a nose that's not properly set it's going to be blotchy or it's going to look too dark and harsh you don't want that so i'm just going to use this color here i'm going to go like this back and forth back and forth look again back and forth back back and forth back and forth back and forth yeah cool now i am going to go in with liquid eyeliner from shopcare.com of course and this thing right here <laughs> is the bomb.com which is like the best eyeliner i've ever used so i'm just going to use this little tool um it's going to help me to get my wing nice and clean so i'm just going to hold it like this the side of the eye i'm just going to close my eye i'm just going to pull a line from the tail and then let's get more product out here. I'm gonna go on the side of the nose. Use this. This is the Care Beauty Set and Bake Powder in Custard. My favorite. I really love these powders for like baking and reverse contouring. And what it helps to do, it just helps to make your makeup look flawless for a long amount of time. And it will also just really help to snatch it up. It makes the makeup look more high definition. Like if you're extra, you could go back in and just reverse contour under the cheekbones a tad bit if you want to. Let's do the brows. Well, first set the brows, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go in with brow sculpt gel for from K Beauty. Get some little spoolie. And we're just gonna groom the eyebrow hairs in an upward direction. I'm just gonna cut the excess hair on top when the hair is growing above the natural shape of the brow. Now I am going to go in with the K Beauty brow perfect pencil. I'm gonna go right underneath my brows like so. I'm just going to create a very gentle outline. To have some sparsity in my archery jump, I'm creating an arch. I have to do this when your brows are done, otherwise it's going to be hard. I filled in the center tab bit. So I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay brow blade and I'm going to just flick up like this. I was starting to DM me ask me if I could do makeup for them. And I was like, what the hell wrong with these people? Why they see that I don't really know what I'm doing? I mean, doing makeup for me was fun at the time. So I was just like, sure, I'll do it for you, but I won't charge you because like, I'm not really a professional. So basically, I was just doing a whole bunch of free makeup, okay? And I guess my mom like caught on until what I was doing. And then she saw that the MAC Cosmetics was opening in Jamaica. And she called me and she's just like, I think you should apply to this. I was just like, oh, hell no, I'm not going to apply. Because what if they reject me and look at me like I'm dumb? Like, I was just doing makeup and if something didn't look right, it's really like, take the makeup off and redo it and take it off redo it i would keep doing that until the makeup would look good so i'm just fluffing it up again so you really see the eyebrow here i'm just gonna go underneath with some concealer the same right to concealer i used to follow my eyes and stick it right underneath the arch so i just drag it under my brow if you can't do one straight line just do tiny strokes and don't bring it all the way to the end because if you bring it all the way to the end you're gonna have just like white hanging off right here i'm blending out the concealer that puts by the arch of the brow like so now we're gonna do some blush let's use this big fluffy blush brush i'm gonna go in with sweet girl k and i'm literally just gonna pat up and down the cheekbone like this she's gonna help to lift my cheeks a bit i'm a blush lover girl i don't know what to tell you if you don't like blush that's your business but i highly recommend blush i am gonna add some bronzer to my face i'm gonna go in with the k beauty bronzer it's beautiful as you can see i'm just gonna go in with the same exact blush brush and just add a little bit on the cheekbone see this is gonna add a little warmth to my face because i'm all about vibrant makeup i don't like when makeup looks boring so yeah we have that we're gonna go in and do our lips this is like one of my favorite lip liners it is the care beauty yeah and my little trick is to seal your lips it stretches the skin enough for you so it's easier for you to do your overline i'm going in with my favorite nude lip ever it's the care beauty sexy lip kit it's a set of three melted lipsticks they're not lip glosses they're pigmented this is my favorite color it's called brickle with a body i love it's like the perfect nude a little goes a long way yeah you then I'm just gonna go on top with all my favorite K Beauty lip glosses. This one is called Barbie Dolly. It's like a shimmery light pink gloss. Brush off the powder on her face. Gonna go under my cheeks like this. This is the K Beauty Set and Make Powder, right? And you see how it's coming off my face easily? It does that because you have to set it first. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in with the K Beauty Highlighter Palette. I'm just gonna take Champagne Aura 
it's like a pink so i'm just applying some of the brush like so then i'm just rubbing my finger now we're gonna go right here in between the eyes i'm just gonna bring the line down but guess what don't go all the way down i want to create a line from here to here yeah more blush because you can never have too much blush on going right in the pink sweet girl okay and i'm just gonna go like this putting it directly under under eye highlights i'm also a bit raspy because i haven't been sleeping for this but yeah so basically my mom told me to apply to my cosmetics and after I got after I got over the initial fear, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And it was hard. I got the job. I was the youngest person working there at the time. And it was a great experience for me because that's where I really learned how to deal with women. And that's where I really learned how to like color match different skin tones, how to deal with different clients or customers. But then when I was there, I just realized that, you know, I wanted more for myself. So eventually I just left that job. <clears throat> and then I did makeup school in London. Then I decided I wanted to go to America and because I wasn't American at the time I was thinking how can I go to America because I want to work in New York so you know what I did I just applied to go to college not because I really wanted to go to college but because that was the only way I could really get into America so I ended up um, doing four years of college and I graduated from NYU with a degree in chemistry because I thought that I was gonna be a cosmetic chemist. But let me tell you what happened. <laughs> what happened was, I got my dream job. It was supposed to be a, literally like a perfume lab. It was the second biggest fragrance company in the entire world. And I was so excited, but I couldn't get the job anymore because my lawyer forgot to renew my work permit. And the, the company had tried waiting on me, but they weren't able to wait much longer. I was just doing makeup for fun doing makeup, doing makeup, until like eventually I got my green card. I was doing makeup full time now. I saved up my money because I wanted to move from New York because it was so freaking cold. I wanted to live somewhere more somewhere more tropical like Jamaica. And I moved to Miami. <laughs> and I can tell you this, when I moved to Miami, after I spent the money selling my apartment, I had like no, I had like zero dollars. It was actually kind of like crazy. Anyway, so I had to build up my little clientele. Now I'm just going to go in with the Morphe setting spray. Guys, setting spray is life. Setting spray is so important because it just like helps your makeup to look more like skin it gets rid of the powdery look y'all see how this just look like skin yeah so i'm gonna do mascara now and it seems as though we're running out of time because this is supposed to be like an under 20 minutes full glam um so maybe i can finish up the story in the next video so you need to subscribe for real that's what that means okay so i'm going in with this the fall slash maximizer it's from mac let me tell you something i cannot wear mascara without this it's a two for one package. So basically you put it onto your lash before and it just helps to like build up the thickness of the lash. Then you go in with mascara and then you really see your eyelashes just start to look like extensions. And now I'm gonna go with mascara. Ooh, I look cute. I am done, what do you think? So that guys is the 20 minute glam I do myself. This is my go-to, this is my signature. If you guys wanna learn more about me, want to see professional makeup tutorials, easy makeup looks, makeup hacks, you're going to need to like and subscribe and comment because all this is coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.